in this video let's talk about the next numerical problem based on what are the intervals in which a given function is increasing or decreasing it says find the intervals in which fx is equal to sine raised to the power 4x plus cos raised to the power 4x is increasing decreasing first part increasing second decreasing the given interval being that of whole first quadrant that means x lies between 0 to pi by 2 is indirectly given to you the question is a CBSC previous year question let's start with the solution I write solution now what is fx fx is given to you as sine raised to the power 4x plus cos raised to the power 4x you know the procedure you have to find out f dash x that means the first derivative finding f dash x is giving me what sine raised to the power 4x differentiation 4 sine cube x and by chain rule sine x gives me cos x2 as the differentiation plus cos 4x differentiation 4 cos cube x and by the principle of chain rule it is minus sine x2 in the differentiation let's see what becomes common 4 is common sine x is common cos x is common inside you have sine square x inside you have sine square x minus cos square x now if you want to even take minus common it is becoming minus 2 into 2 if 4 can be broken up as 2 into 2 sine x cos x it becomes cos square x minus sine square x why have i done this just because cos square theta minus sine square theta is cos 2 theta so it becomes a formula minus 2 into 2 sine x cos x multiply by cos 2x first formula has become and we have got 2x now here also if i can get 2x that will be wonders for me what is the formula of 2 sine x cos x sine 2x so it is nothing but minus 2 sine 2x cos 2x now again 2 sine theta cos theta again sine 2 theta so it is nothing but minus sine 2 multiplied by theta that is 2x so that is minus sine 4x once for all i write what all formulas have i used in it after i have found f dash x the first formula is sine 2 theta is equal to 2 sine theta cos theta everybody knows this the second formula is that i have used cos through theta is equal to cos square theta minus sin square theta even everybody knows this as well now these two formulas were used in these steps we have got f dash x which is very good we have got the first step correct f dash x now you have to find what is the interval in which the function is increasing what is the interval in which the function is decreasing now for increasing i have to first see that yes i was talking about my x as lying between 0 to pi by 2 if my x is lying between 0 to pi by 2 and i know that i am not going to talk about x this time but for 4x this time so what is the story for 4x things are going to change i know that f dash x is such that it is minus sine 4x and i know that if i have 4x there so it is going to be 0 to 4x to pi by 2 multiply by 4 which is nothing but going to be 0 to 4x to 2 pi so for 4x i am going to consider till 2 pi right now if i break this 0 to 2 pi into some intervals i definitely know that this is the whole of the cartesian plane 0 to pi by 2 first quadrant pi by 2 to pi second quadrant pi to 3 pi by 2 third quadrant 3 pi by 2 to 2 pi fourth quadrant and in which quadrants is my sign positive i know that my sign is positive my sign is positive in which quadrant in the first quadrant and the second quadrant my sign is negative in the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant so that i know that i very clearly know so sine and all i've talked about the quadrants i know that when i talk about 0 to 4x to pi that means 4x lying between 0 to pi i have a brief idea that yes my x would be what it will be 0 to pi by 4 right and this is the interval that 0 to pi by 4 wherein i have my sine 4x greater than 0 
because it is talking about the first and the second quadrant and my minus sign 4x as less than 0. When my minus sign 4x is less than 0, that means what? My f dash x is less than 0. And when f dash x is less than 0, definitely it is a story of decreasing function. So the interval in which my function is decreasing is nothing but 0 to pi by 4. Similarly, after you have done for decreasing, you can even find for increasing. For increasing, what is it going to be? I have my pi to 2 pi and I am talking about my 4x again. I have my pi to 2 pi and talking about 4x again. Again, I have my sin 4x, sin 4x in this as less than 0 because my sign is negative in third and fourth quadrant. That means my minus sin 4x is going to be greater than 0. And when my minus sign 4x is going to be greater than 0, that means what? My f dash x is going to be greater than 0. That means it is a case of increasing function. Increasing function interval. Right? So what is the interval? Take 4 to the other side. It becomes pi by 4 to 2 pi by 4. That is the interval. Or directly 2 and 2, 4 getting cancelled. So it becomes pi by 4 to pi by 2 is the interval for increasing that is the answer for increasing and for decreasing 0 to pi by 4 is the answer so you see that we modify the question according to our interest only the function was given to us and we have discovered so much information regarding to that function